Before starting, I want to make it clear that the title I've used here, Political Differentiation, is not an official mathematical term. It would not mean anything at all to a person who has not watched this maths cast. My aim is to discuss the product and the quotient rule for differentiation, and to invent some little stories associated with them that I hope might amuse, but also with the intention that it will help you remember those rules. I fully accept that you might find these stories rather silly, but if they help just a few people to remember the rules, then they've served their purpose. Let's start with the product rule. Remember, a product is two things multiplied together. When we talk about the product rule for differentiation, we're talking about a function y, which is made up of a product of other functions. Normally, we introduce the product rule with just two functions, so we'll write y equals u times v. It's to be understood that y and u and v are all functions of x. We will take the derivative with respect to x. I've given this the name democracy in action. You'll see why I've called it this in a moment. So, without further ado, let's write down the product rule. The product rule says that dy dx is, well, first of all, u gets a chance to say what the derivative is, while v keeps quiet. It doesn't try to differentiate. Then, u has had its turn to talk about the derivative, so it keeps quiet, while v now says what the derivative is. Notice each function has had its say while the other kept quiet. This is the essence of a good democratic system. Everyone's allowed to express their opinion. The system works even if there are more than two functions. Let's take, for example, y equals u, v, w, z, all assumed to be functions of x. Democracy says that each of the four functions is allowed its turn in saying what the derivative is. So we get, first of all, u primed, while v, w, and z keep quiet. Then u shuts up, while v says what the derivative is. And then u and v keep quiet, and w has its turn. And finally, patiently, z has waited for its turn. It's a nice democratic system. Let's now move on and look at the quotient rule. We'll soon see that this is an altogether different political regime. It's oppressive. If you like, it's fascism. Look at the quotient. y equals u over v. u is on top of v. u is oppressing v. Both u and v would like to say what the derivative is, but u pushes in and goes first. v is obliged to keep quiet while u says what the derivative is. Now v tries to take its turn. u appears to be listening, but as soon as v has said the derivative, u negates it. It says no. It adds a minus sign in. When this happens, v feels more oppressed, disempowered. v feels it has less power than it had before. But what power did v have before? Well, being in a quotient, it was v to the negative 1, wasn't it? If it has less power now, then maybe it's v to the negative 2. And so we end up with v squared underneath. The v squared indicates that v feels more oppressed. So that's the quotient rule. I've tried very hard to think up a political analogy for the chain rule, but I couldn't come up with anything appealing. If anyone has any ideas, I'd be happy to listen to them.